A while ago, I made a video showing you how to check and see if a square is truly square or not. And while I was making that video, my beloved Starrett wasn't quite as square as I thought it was. Thankfully, it just turned out to be a little bit of corrosion inside the body and it was easy to clean up. But it left a lot of people wondering, what do you do if your square isn't truly square? Well, today I'm gonna take this bargain store, less than $10 combo square and show you how to make it an accurate tool that'll serve you well. Here we have a bargain tool store square. It's almost identical to the square I had when I started woodworking. They work fine, and for less than $10, you can't really go wrong. The body is made out of aluminum, and that's the weakness of a tool like this. The aluminum is extremely soft and wears down quickly. A lot of people think that the ruler rides on this shoulder, but there's actually two raised nubs that the ruler registers against. It's just about impossible for me to get the camera in here for you to see it, so I'm gonna use a drawing to demonstrate. This is a representation of what's inside the body of a square. The ruler rests on these nubs. If you find that your combination square isn't really square and is canted one way or the other, you can use a file or sandpaper to true it up. A lot of people will say to use a file for this, but with these cheap squares, I've found that to be much too aggressive. Instead, I use a piece of 220 sandpaper wrapped around a card scraper. Even with this fine of a grit, it only takes a couple of swipes to true up a square like this. Take a couple passes, then test it out. Go slowly. I found that this ruler had a lot of sharp milling marks on it. Coupled with the fact that this ruler is much harder than the head is, it's going to wear down those calibration nubs and cause your square to become inaccurate much faster. So take a few passes with the same 220 grit sandpaper to make sure that the square stays true longer. You can find a lot more information about using a combo square in a great article written by Tim Rousseau in the January-February 2017 issue of Fine Woodworking Magazine. It's a great issue with tons of information. Go pick up a copy today or read it online at finewoodworking.com. We think you're really going to enjoy it.